What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this Let's Play so far, and if you are, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shoot. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should've just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's a moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. All right, here we go. I knew it, man. Maybe I knew we'd be playing as John. But still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? I'm sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that old dime novel and Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore? Whoops. <laughs> I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I... I kind of like it. You know what? So do I. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. <laughs> been a long time. Wow, we're in strawberry, huh? It's been a couple of years since the, the passing of, uh, of Arthur. Because, yeah, they're setting up the original game. That's exactly what they're doing. But we still have two epilogues to get through. That's... This is epilogue part one. Here. There we go. Let's see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. All right. Knock, knock. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, as long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well... We need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about Not it. a wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if it, you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then... I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay. All 
All right, Abigail, where you at, girl? It's weird seeing John's hair short like this, man. Whoa. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? Well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. What do you suggest now? I'll stay here and get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. All right, let's go back to the wagon. So we're going to do it solo then. Obviously, we're not going to bring them with us. But I guarantee you, man, this is if you guys remember, Red Dead Redemption uh, 1 started off, the epilogue started off uh, the same way. Everything seemed... Of course. Um... But yeah, it all started off honest. We were doing some ranching. But then it all went to hell towards the end. I'm just wondering if that's going to happen. Because we have to set up the events for Red Dead Redemption 1, right? Past Owen Kila, then follow the road north. Okay. So I'm honestly just going to hold down X. I'm not going to go too quick, like he said. I feel like we ain't got none of a time. Dance, prance, hut one, hut two. Hurry up, going down, and I'm going long. Touchdown. The road is long with many a winding way. But it is nice not to be shot at for once. But hey, that could change. I haven't even checked to see if we had any uh, weapons on us at all. That's it, Horso. You got this. Like, seriously, man, I don't think the horses get enough credit. Look at them, just constant. I'll bet you there's a challenge for getting it there without damaging any of the goods, so that's why I'm going to be extra careful here. Or then there's going to be one that says, do it within two minutes, and you can't do both, you know what I mean? Like, you go fast, and it breaks. I mean, there is a really, like, the, that's the fast one. There's really only a certain single speed you can go. You know what I mean? Like, you can go faster, but it really doesn't make that much difference. simple though that's the thing with these epilogues not a whole lot goes down in your hometown hopefully we're not too far off Going on is that a hog oh this must be it yeah I just said that <laughs> I really hope it'll get like robbed or something wouldn't that suck oh I, I mean I don't see why we would
Morning, sir. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. When's uh, Boss May gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. Do you want me to get him? That's my damn wagon. That's true, it is our wagon. A jump aboard. Hey, there they are! Oh, shit. They didn't get far. Oh! <laughs> Dude, we did that mad quick. They didn't get very far at all. A bunch of salty sallies. All right, my man, I got you. Hey. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen. I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. Work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance we're good people we'll work even Lancelot what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy just another mouth to feed just please give us a chance I can handle myself okay you know that already yeah makes me wonder just who would have robbed you but we'll give you a chance I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow thank you Mr. Dickens I'll go get my wife nah no you stay here it's getting late We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. Things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Pronghorn Ranch, guys. Epilogue, part one. So we're going to be working on the ranch for a little bit. Honest work. Oh, wait. Was, is that a gold? Let's take a look. What were the challenges? Reach Pronghorn without dropping any. Reclaim the... See? Dude, I told you, fam. It's all good. It's all good. All right, next mission, let's start it right up. New horses are available to purchase. 
We can actually go to Blackwater. I mean, I guess that time's passed now. Give me him. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. And you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens, go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. He knows something's up. I would have just kept my first name, honestly, because it's, it's something you're going to do. Like, so last name. Way. I, I was on my chores, anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? That, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, you're sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kinda... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I mean, it's honestly, it probably helped us get this job in the first place. I'm going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You are going to milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well... It ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Why not be a little bit honest to be like I was hands, once? Like most men? <laughs> well... I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Hey, Bessie, how are you? Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. We're actually milking a cow. Oh my God, okay, here we go. Almost got a pail full. That's a lot of milk real fast. Damn.
Hey, Paul. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Oh, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> partner. Just start yanking it all fast. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. Not gonna lie, guys. This type of work is my idea of hell. <laughs> I'd rather just lift shit. You know what I mean? I'm not one for ranching like or being on the farm. I I'm a city I guy. Imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said. I know what he said. We'll do it, won't we, boy? Mm hmm. Got to shovel the shit. That's what we're doing, guys. Quite literally. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Ugh. All right. What? What's wrong? Jack. Oh, maybe I gotta bring it to him. I think that's what it is. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Be Ugh. careful. Oh, that's done. Oh, my bad. Yeah, don't spill it. <laughs> Look out. Look at this horse shit. <laughs> Quite literally. No, there's literally no reason to shake it like that. You could just put it in the barrel. There you go. See, that one was better. All things considered, that wasn't that bad. Oh, God. <sighs> Stinking piles of... All right, one more to go. Oh no. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Just call him Lance. You don't have to call him Lance a lot. Well, be sure to wipe your shoes before you come in the house, bro. Shoveling shit pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, what do you know? Me too. Put some coffee on. <laughs> Done deal? Wait, that's it. We have $14. We got a goal on that one, too. Complete within 15 minutes, five, 15, 5 minutes, 15. We're milking, fill a bucket within 10 seconds. I did do that. I was just going to town on that cow. Squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> Sport, sport, sport. Dan, gross. Come on. Come on, Dan. What you doing, bruh? Uh, we'll go do some more. Wait a minute. Are they all on the, on the hand? Yeah. This is, uh, what's his name again? Abe, right? No. That's not Abe, is it? Hey, no. Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. 
Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep, there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. All right, I've done fencing before. Oh my god, it sucks. Good. Now a wood fence is easier than a chain fence, though. And place it in. Now lift up the other side. I gotta line up. See. Now the next rail. See, that's the good thing about training somebody. If you've ever trained somebody at your job before, um, okay. they have to do all the work while you just say, nope, not there. No. <laughs> I mean, it's not that bad. You obviously have to show them how it's done, too. Trained a lot of people in my uh, in various jobs. You're doing all right. So I know what it's like to train. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Because at my last job, I was team lead for all the trucks out of the so warehouse. So I'd be in charge of all the trucks and what went out kind of thing, you know, how it went out and how successfully it went out. So all my, uh, all my, uh, kind of underhands, they weren't my employees, obviously. I was just, I guess, helped them along. Um, they didn't, at, at that job, there was a lot of, a lot of turnaround. So it was like, I wasted all my time training people who quit within a month. You know what I mean? It happened a lot and it was aggravating. Good on you, John. Jim Neal, over here. Hold up. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Coming. What's going on? Well, let me run left. There we go. Hurry. Hurry. Quick as you can. Milton, get over here. I'm here. Milton. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? What's up? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Whoa! Oh! Why would you... Oh! Where's the rodeo clown when you need him? I just built that fence! Whoa! Oh! Now where you go? No. Oh! <laughs> Dude, it's a bull. It ain't a cow, or a horse, or a calf. Not the fence. I'm getting it, but oh god, the other one's gonna get out. I think I, my chance of getting a gold on this are pretty slim now because. How do you tie this? No, you don't. Whoa! Damn it, man! It's harder than it looks. How did I miss? Dodge it! Come on, bro. Get up! Thing down. You don't look like you're gonna wind down. <laughs> but I'll try. Come on, big guy. 
It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. You need to calm down. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy. Easy. There, there. Actually, I think it's working. There, there. All better? Okay. <laughs> now, come on, you hunk of Chuck. Relax, my friend. You're lucky you didn't kill anyone. Come down, big guy. Got we him, got Mr. him. Dickens? Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. That went well. I don't think I got. I don't think I caught him fast enough though to get any sort of challenge. I had him right away though, but he just bucked me, man. He just got me. He let me know. Hey. Mm. I'll get the coffee on. Thank you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Alright, let's see how we did. I'm guessing a silver out of that one. Oh, a bronze. Ugh. Fix the first section of the fence within one minute. Oh. Boy being hit by the bull. So there was no time. You just didn't know how to get hit by the bull. Now I failed on both of those counts. That's okay. We don't normally get golds. So next one here. Next one up. Hit the lights. I have a feeling we're going to end up doing some more, more like, bigger things. As we go on. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost. Possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Because since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much... <sighs> I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. <laughs> of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh. Well, when Mr. Gettys goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. All right, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, easy now. You dunk it? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Whoa, none of that. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, Settle I do. Settle down, okay? Pretty big one. That's you done? Jack. Come on. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <sighs> Calm down. <sighs> he likes you. Ain't sure he likes any of us, but... I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. 
That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. There you go. Blessing, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. All right. Good boy. Let's go for a little ride, buddy. I've ridden a horse before. You got some energy? Show me then. Ha, <laughs> that's awesome, guys. We're just literally... Look at that view. Rolling through the fields. Yeah, like, just going boy. for a ride and yeah, then back. <laughs> All right, let's... We don't want to go too far. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? It's almost done. Let's go. Okay. That was fun. What? You can behave now, can't you? That was good. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on. That up went there. very well. That was excellent Don't timing and everything. Slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, They'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, because remember what we said. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Yes, ma'am. And what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Hey, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the skull. This is actually kind of fun, man. Like, I never thought doing ranching would be fun. This is kind of fun. For once, we're just doing the activities, but we're not being shot at. Milton? Yet, anyway. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God. Where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the oh, legs God. are. Oh, God. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Oh, God. Just give it a yank. Oh, I got a vibration. There they are. Okay, now hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on, sweetheart. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but... I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around. Oh, uh, 
I'm, I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Oh man, she wanted she wanted Jono there. Not a very faithful woman. I wonder if that's why they don't hire married hands. Interesting. And we did all that ranching work really well. Like this mission went by really quick. I mean, I don't know if it's over yet. Hey, John. Jim. Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? Been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Right on the left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. So Jack could have a friend. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream? Good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... He's doing good. That's a good speed. No reason why we have to rush it, right? Oh, let's go a little faster. See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. There you go. I won't let him go too fast. That's a good that's a good speed. I think that's is that what you call a trot? I don't know. My mom is my mom has like three horses. You think I'd know the terms. <laughs> you know? This ain't so bad, sir. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. Got that right. Yeah, see, this is a good speed. I'm cool with this one. I don't want to speed him up too much. I'd rather just enjoy the ride with my virtual son. So I'm guessing there's going to be a challenge that says get to the stream within a certain amount of time. And then there's also going to be another one saying don't let Jack get bucked off the horse. Right, let's speed it up. Even faster. Come on. We're not even going that faster? fast. Yeah. There you go. See that? We weren't even going that with this. See, I want to keep this speed. This is a good speed, but he, they slowed back down. No, this ain't a trot. A trot is like more of a walking pace for a horse, but not really. It's like a little skip, right? A trot's a skip. How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. Easy. Whoa! That's one way to get your son knocked off the horse. Where's the stream? Oh, there it is. This is a beautiful spot, man. I, like, look at this. Can you imagine camping here? And I'm not one for camping. My parents brought me camping, like, so many times as a kid. But this is a spot. Imagine just right there by that little brook. That'd be a lovely thing to sleep by. Here we are. 
Yep. Pushing it back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. Uh oh. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. He's gonna cheat. I knew it. I have a faster horse. Question is, should I let him win? One second. I want to check something. Can I? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Sorry. Ah. Look out. Let me see. Let me see the progress. Can I check the actual? Uh... I want to see. Hold on. I want to see something. It doesn't show. I don't know. Tell you what, I should I just roast should I just roast Jack? It's at that stage where you do you let the kid hey, win? Come back here. You have to catch me. You got to teach him. You want to let them win. That's like giving a kid a participation award for coming in last. But to be fair, he does have a handicap. His horse isn't as fast as mine. Yeah, it's true. And you're much smaller. Like a jockey. Good point. Lighter. See, it's like, it's like horsepower, quite literally, versus weight reduction. <laughs> That's literally what we're doing here. Come on, Jack. Get him. I'll slow down a little bit, just to keep it a little bit close. But I'm going to try and win the race. He's catching up. And get the jets on. Go. Hit the jets. I'll stay on the path. I don't know if he's... Oh, he's cheating. He's cheating. Oh, what happened? No way! I'm overtaking him last minute. Last minute overtake. Oh, he beat me. I, uh... To be fair, I honestly was trying to win. I beat you. I beat you. I well beat... ridden, son. I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. It's good for his confidence. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now let me see something about that. Is that it for the mission? No, there's a disturbance. That might not have been anything. That was funny though. want to watch your mouth boy you will be the first one we kill leave him alone <laughs> oh careful boys careful yeah. look at this tough guy get out of here how oh, fancy pants get he's paying you to be tough for him huh <laughs> <laughs> no he's paying me to keep the place clean oh. said he had some problems with vermin oh listen to this Real funny. He's gonna punch me. <laughs> Let's dance, boy. You wanna dance? Jesus! Damn! Come on, man. Put your put your shit up. Let's dance. Oh my god! Dude, he can't even fight back! What a pussy! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Dude, he literally didn't hit me Thank at all. You, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop no, he did. He hit me a couple times, knocked my hat off. Hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. I disagree with that. She's not really being nice about this. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. All 
All right, well, old habits. Let me guess, win the race was the other one. No. Defeat the Laramie without taking a hit. Oh, I did take a hit. Well, that was a completely different mission, though. Old habits, wasn't it? Let me see something. What was the other one? Because that other mission where I had to race Jack, right? What was, it was Unless that was the mission. I don't think it was, though. Let's see. I'm just curious. No, it wasn't. So I took two hits in the front because I went to block. But then after that, I just started punching the shit out of him. He took, yeah, I knocked my hat off. You won't hear any of it. All right, let's go talk. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Milton, I should like to have a word with you. Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Go, what's going on? They're burning everything down. Come on, big guy. Who's it? Watch you burn. Get your bitch ass off me. That's the worst of it. You know that awful. Damn, right hook, son. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in, it's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right! Yeah, man, they, that, there's no way of dealing with this. In the Old West, you gotta shoot a mother clucker. You gotta do it. Uh, we've armed up again, man. He's got two pretty dope revolvers. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, 
There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep. Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, here we go. Hey! Hey! So much for that. No, I didn't want that. I don't want his face. Where's the other guy? There he is. I love how, see how it hesitated? I guarantee you it waited for him to be open. Enough of this cheese. It's nice to be back in the action though. We got, we can have actually a lot. Can't see, I'm moving up. What the hell is going on? There you go, that took too long. Good for now. I like there's a guy up top, I wish I targeted. Get some cover. Going up. You don't know who you're messing with. I'm going to rush him. Good night. Get off! Come on, hit me! Come on, man! Why not just shoot him in the f I guess it's personal now. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my seats. As long as she Shut the fuck up. Abigail's not going to be happy about that. Quite frankly, I don't blame her. But man, that guy. What a piece of shit. To be honest, it would be better just to beat this, beat him to death, I think. I think that's more, like, you make it personal like that. But the thing is, these guys are like, they ain't shit. You know what I mean? Like, they're just... Oh, they got the cattle back, I assume? Looks like it. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well... You... Oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about, Abe, just in case you stay out. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said, and thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? 
What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Jim Milton rides again. Let me guess. Don't, uh, go, don't get assaulted. Get 10 kills while dual wielding. Oh, I didn't do that. I had the repeater. Oh, that sucks. I had it equipped originally, but anyway. We actually have a mission for Abigail, so let's go say what's up to her. Come on, girl. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to take the uh, the card into town. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is, well, you know, undertakers like me, cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton! Milton, ma'am, Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. All right, let's get the strawberry. Strawberry. Out of the house, huh? I'm being rattled around, Pa. I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Your ma was wrong about that. Pride my ass, dude. Take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. All right, I'm not driving anymore. Good boy.
enough for now. That kid's strawberry, hey kid. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Man, I guarantee you though this this first epilogue chapter is going to be cut short because of All something right. we did. Here we are. Because of this issue with the uh what's her name, right, boys? Son. Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. That would be the cr the shit for me, man. Hi. I'm here to name. My name, uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. Hmm. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here, you take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Do it, man. It's not hard. You enjoy it's a horse. It's not a. It's not a car. Okay. Okay, Pa. We're going back to Bronghorn, okay? So wait, we've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out. Uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep but what, two minutes? Watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. I'm your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Something's gonna go wrong here, man. I think I think they knew. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh sure. I don't know, I guess we could leave it, but I think I want him to speed up a little bit. Alright, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Stop. Man, we're gonna get attacked. <laughs> Let's speed this up. Eventually, this thing can only go so fast, so you gotta understand that, too. We being followed? We're being followed. What's wrong, Pop? Nothing. Just a bit faster now. 
Are we still being followed? I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. I don't... Okay. Yeah, he's still there, man. Is somebody back there? Yes. Just keep driving. I think the horse is getting skittish. He'll be all right. This guy's following us back to the ranch. Maybe we should detour. Huh? What? Nothing. Just keep driving. We're being followed, fam. Look at this cheese. Are these the whatchamacallit brothers? I can't remember their name. It's with an L, didn't it? Dude, they're following us. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pop. Hey. Those men. Are they following us? Just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. These... Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Ah. <sighs> Come on, quick, down. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen, let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. Oh. Good night. Oh, come on, come on. No! Got it. Sack of shit. I'm gonna rob your fucking ass. I don't remember who they're talking about. A few months back, we don't know who that was. Might as well loot him. You never know what we're going to get. Abigail's not going to be happy about that, though. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. And he so he looks. <laughs> Come on. Get up. Let's get the hell out of here. They tried, they shot at me first, fam. You were real brave back there. Real brave. I mean, exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. He's not used to it. I thought I recognized that. Beach's Hope is where we go, isn't it? In the first game? I don't know. I can see you as a rancher boy. Like Doug and Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Hmm. Still, that went that went a lot better than it than it could have, you know. I'm sorry. The sound of turkeys just makes me laugh. That was an uh, eventful trip. See, it's because he said check Marston. The guy heard it and tipped off those guys. Go say hi to your mother. How is the 
Jesus. What happened? Yeah. It's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! I... It was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Oh, sorry. Hi. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Let me guess, it's a threat. Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. Oh, snap. I got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. We, we wait a minute. We wouldn't have seen Sadie for like two years, because that's. Damn. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you. But it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. 
How to save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. All right, well, we got three things we could choose from. We might have to do all of them. So I'll just start with this one. It's the furthest over. I'm guessing it's everything we've done so far. Milk the cows. Birth the foal. Build a fence. I don't know. This one actually seems pretty far away. Was oh, that a doggo? Aw. Hey, Poochie. Can I pet him? Hey, little fella. <laughs> Even virtually, you have to be able to pet the doggos. <laughs> All right, let's go. How could you scold the dog just for sitting on a table? Or, sorry, on the, on the porch. Like, that's ridiculous. Let me, yeah, I am building a fence, isn't it? Told you. Repairing the fence. Now, last time there was a challenge for doing it quickly, so... I think I spent too much time. Petting doggos, but it was worth it. That's her full. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. All right. She still have the beard? Yeah, it's getting longer. It's been a couple months. You'd think it'd be longer by then, but not necessarily. Not everybody can... Like, once it gets to a certain stage, it really slows down. Like, I'm kind of the same way. Mine gets to a certain length, and it still grows, but it takes longer to get that further. You know what I mean? Like, the first month or so, it's pretty quick. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pow! I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could... Go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. 
But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. Good boss to have. But that's... you have, you. have I mean, it's tough to find a good boss. I've worked for quite a few people in my life. There's been a few that have been excellent bosses. Some have been horrible bosses. Bringing out the old Marston Gene look. Off we ride. This is the same gear he wore in the main game, wasn't it? Okay, I'm just looking. Where's the... Alright, we could go to Valentine and have a word with Sadie. I mean, they're both supposed... To... I'm gonna go to Sadie first. It's a little ways away. So I think she's a little bit closer to me. Alright, squad, we are back in Valentine, what feels like an eternity. Sadie is at the bar here. Whoa! My bad, sorry. Oh, well, that's quite the horse. Will Look at it. Me be? It's like... I don't even know what that would be. It's like a pink red. Interesting. Alright, say... Oh! I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to. Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone! Or what? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> We didn't hear nothing about you. You... you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She... She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. <laughs> oh, it's legal. I'm usually. Then, maybe. Come on then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? <laughs> no, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Oh, well, that's Sadie's horse. I know. Strawberry. I understand why they're having us go to Strawberry, because then it'll kind of reset it and we can go to that other mission. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him, uh, about a year back? Okay. We always said, if we found him... I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. But you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long. Welcome to Strawberry.
Can I help you? All right. No, nah, man, I'm good. Fine. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. Let me guess, you're going to the bar. I'm just kidding. You seen it? You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Alright, general stores are actually right here. I don't know why I didn't go in that front door, but whatever. Hello? Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah. Looking for a fella. I did some work for you. New Yorker. Name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town, you see. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Did he say the Welcome Center? The other guy? I don't know if he did or not. Whoa, relax. Sorry, buddy. Hello? Anybody can I, can I ask this guy? Hotel? Oh, he's the owner. You, uh, you seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. He doesn't care. This is actually a nice place, man. Look at that wood. Wait, what are we examining? What was that? Oh, it's another one of those cards for collectible's sake. There you go. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Just a friend. Come on, open the door. I didn't do it. I didn't do it! Stop. Go! That's Nathan Kirk! Go! Oh. Got him? Oh, shut up! Damn it, Sadie! Jump out. Jump out. Oh! oh. <laughs> we gotta get after him! Remember, I'm on it! We want him alive, though! I oh, know! That would have hurt you the giblets back. a little bit. Got a cat. I guarantee there's something to catch him in a few, like, certain period of time. There he is. Dump a 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 dump Go! Faster! My horse has low stamina. That's what sucks right now. None personal, sir! Come on, man. We're nearing him. Whoa! That slowed me down. Come on, man. I'm going as fast as this thing's letting me. My horse is going to be out of juice. I can't get him. He's too quick. Horse is tired. I'm going to lose him, guys. The horse is too tired. Son of a bitch! Then come on and talk to us! Please don't! That horse don't look so good! What is wrong with you people? 
Almost got him. He's slowing down. Wait a minute. Get him. Got him. Damn. What you got there? Get off me. That a present for me. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm going to loot him. Why not? Man, but it's all a mistake. My wife is a, is a desperate woman. How are you buried, sir? Don't you business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. Let's Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. You need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. So no, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so... I'll come find you. That was trash, I'm not gonna lie. It was hard to catch up with him. Drive it, locate. The bounty within 30 seconds. After mounting your horse, catch the hog tie with him. Yeah, that was slow. He started okay, slowing down. Nancy. But my horse didn't have enough stamina, so anyway. Off to the next one. Alright, guys, welcome to Blackwater, man. I think this is the first time we've actually come down here. Here's the bank. Why did it mark it there? Oh, maybe that's what I did. I can't believe it's the first time we've been here, but actually I can believe it. What's with you, huh? Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Yeah. Good day. I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit. So I can buy some property? What property? An old ranch. Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But... <laughs> I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a rundown farm. On account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Mm -hmm. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes? Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done, and we'll fix up the paperwork. All right. Okay. That's good. Orso needs a food, but I don't think she, I don't think she's got anything. I guess I could brush her. That's a girl. She's a quick horse, though. There we go. All right. Well, let's head on out to the uh, next mission. There. I think we're actually heading out to the uh, the spot we need to be. Look, there's Beecher's Hope. Guys, does this not look familiar to you, dude? This is it. This is the ranch. We actually do turn into something pretty great, don't we? What's up? Can I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. 
Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid, I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. You're squatting. Get the hell out of here. This land belongs to me now. Ain't nothing on this earth belongs to no one, partner. Looks like you made your decision then, partner. Let me target them. What the hell? Damn it. What is going on? I got so screwed. Oh, come on, man. I'm sorry. My shots are trash. Shoot him. You dead. I don't want to pay them anything. Not a cent. My property now, bitch. Squatters have been dealt with. Ah, it's you. The man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I, I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Uh, Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> Where are we going, then? Follow me. Back to Beecher's Hope. It's not far. Run from a bounty, John. You can't.
can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. I have nothing to give this poor horse. It's just a little place, isn't it? Gotta start somewhere. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we gonna farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the till. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. <laughs> I know you're an idiot. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media, facebook.com slash danq8000 for live streams and other content. Twitter, danq8000, Instagram, danq8000, and Snapchat, danq8000. If you want to get yourself a shirt or hoodie, link in the description. If you want to save 10% off your next DX racer, link in the description. Be sure to use the promo code danq8000 at checkout. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you soon for more content. But until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, don't need violent and hit you. 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist style. Dan. Goddamn, Billy Jack. We still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying. So we driving by your back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, and don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators. Night invaders get life savored. Mass on for the shooters. Move like trash. To bed intruder, got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah, it was never ever a game.